Filipino scientists and their contribution to science. Eight Filipino scientists named as among Asian Scientist Magazine's most outstanding researchers in Asia. June 23, 2022, Manila, Dr. Annabel V. Briones, Department of Science and Technology Industrial Technology. Development Institute, DUST ITDI, she was awarded the 2020 Gregorio Y. Zara Award for Applied Science Research for designing a mosquito ovicidal larvicidal trap system aimed at reducing the incidence of dengue fever in the country. Francis Aldrin UY, Mapua University. ENTISTS. Sean. Ding. Nila. UY received. Received the 2020 David M. Kinsunji Award for Engineering Research for his engineering and innovation projects, including a sensor that monitors the structural integrity of buildings. Desiree M. Hoda, University of the Philippines Los Banos. Hoda is the recipient of the 2020 Leeds Agriculture Award by the Philippine Association for the Advancement of Science and Technology for her research into the adoption of the genetically modified Bt eggplant in the Philippines. Sandra Teresa V. Navarra, University of Santo Tomas Hospital. Navarra was conferred the Dr. Paolo C. Campos Award for Health Research by the Philippine Association for the Advancement of Science and Technology for her research on lupus. Salvacion de Chalian, Research Institute for Tropical Medicine Philippines. Gashalian was among the frontline doctors who died in the country last year in the fight against coronavirus disease, COVID-19. She was posthumously given the Dr. Lord Espiritu Campos Award for Public Health for her advocacy for tobacco control and the immunization of children. Kathleen B. Aviso, De La Salle University. Aviso got the 2020 Dr. Michael Purvis Award for Sustainability Research for her important contributions to environmental systems engineering as well as developing novel optimization models to guide national and global environmental decision making. Edgardo G. Vasquez. Vasbuilt Technology. Vasquez is known for inventing sturdy, O-prefabricated prefabricated modular housing. He innovation received the 2020 Seferino Filosco Award for Product and Process. Jonal Saludes, University of San Agustin. Gregorio Y. Zara Award for Basic. Saludes is the awardee of the 2020 Science Research for his research into the chemical biology of natural products from organisms. Filipino scientists and their contribution to science. Angel Chua Alcala, March 1, 1929, is a Filipino biologist who was named a National Scientist of the Philippines in 2014. Alcala is known for his fieldwork to build sanctuaries and to promote biodiversity in the aquatic ecosystems of the Philippines. He is currently chairman of the Board of Advisors at the Angelo King Center for Research and Environmental Management University, located in Silliman, responsible for publishing more than 200 books, his biological, peer-reviewed articles and contributions to the environment ecosystems have made him a renowned hero for natural sciences in Julian A. Banzin, March 25, 1908. September 13, 1988, was a Filipino biochemist and a national scientist of the Philippines Banzan is credited for his research in for his alternative fuel. He researched on the production of ethyl ester fuels from sugarcane and coconuts and devised a method of extracting residual coconut oil through chemical means. Diascoro Lopez Umali, November 17, 1917. July 1, 1992, was a Filipino agriculturist and national scientist of the Philippines. Awardee, known as the father of Philippine plant breeding, he was awarded several international honors and distinctions for 
his outstanding achievements and improvements of rice, corn, and other economic plants international. The Rice Research Institute named a laboratory in his honor. Gavino Trono Jr., Ph.D., born 1931, is a Filipino marine biologist dubbed as the father of Copaphagus farming. He was conferred the rank of National Scientist of the Philippines for contributions to the study of tropical marine phycology, focusing on seaweed biodiversity. He is currently a professor emeritus of the University of the Philippines Marine Science Institute. Maria Orosa E. Lagan, November 29, 1892, February 13, 1945, was a Philippine food technologist, pharmaceutical, chemist, humanitarian, and war heroine 21. She experimented with foods native to the Philippines and during World War II, developed Soylac, a nutrient-rich drink from soybeans and derak rice, cookies packed with vitamin B1, which prevents beriberi disease, which she also helped smuggle into Japanese-run internment camps that helped save the lives of thousands of other nationals, she, Filipinos, Americans, and introduced to the public the well-known ketchup, banana, Gregorio Y. Zara, March 8, 1902 to October 15, 1978, was a Filipino scientist best known as the inventor of the video phone, the first two-way communicator, in 1955. All told, he patented 30 engine to a solar-powered water heater and stove. Fabian Nueva del Mundo, Old Ons GCGH, born Fe Primitiva del Mundo y Villanueva, the 27th of November 1911 to 60 August 2011, was a Filipina pediatrician. She founded the first pediatric hospital in the Philippines and is known for shaping the modern child health care system in the Philippines. Her pioneering work in pediatrics in the Philippines while in active medical practice spanned eight decades. She gained international recognition, including the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Public Service in 1977. In 1980, she was conferred the rank and title of National Scientist of the Philippines, and in 2010, she was conferred the Order of Lacandula. She was the first female president of the Philippine Pediatric Society and the first woman to be named National Scientist of the Philippines in 1980, and in 2010, she was conferred the Order of Lacandula. She was also the founder and the first president of the Philippine Pediatric Society. Baldomero Oliveira born 1941, is a Filipino chemist known for discovery of many cone snail toxins important for neuroscience. These molecules, called conotoxins, led to a breakthrough in the study of ion channels and genetic engineering and recombinant DNA technology. Roberto del Rosario, 1919-2003, was the president of the NOW Corporation, a founding defunct treble music member of the Filipino amateur jazz band, the executives band Combo, and, in 1975, the inventor of the karaoke sing-along system. Known as Bert, Del Rosario patented more than 20 inventions during his lifetime, making him one of the most prolific of Filipino inventors. FYI, he sued Japanese companies for patent. Dr. San Juan is a NASA engineer who designed the moon buggy that the Apollo astronauts used on the moon. He uses homemade materials for the moon buggy that was still chosen over those modern designs. He finished his degree from Mapua Institute of Technology. Salcedo, Juan S. Jr. Birth date. The 29th of September 1904 died the 20th of October 1988. As scientist, 
Dr. Salcedo contributed immensely to the areas of biochemistry, nutrition, physiology, as science administrator to science policy development, science promotion and scientific manpower development, he has published 265 works and researches in Philippine and foreign science journals. Dr. Salcedo is recipient of many awards including the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Outstanding Public Health Nutritionist in 1957, Republic Cultural Heritage Award in Science, 1966, and the Presidential Pro Patria Award, 1969. CC. During the time of Prez. Quirino, Dr. Salcedo served as Secretary of Health. He was also Chairman of the National Science Development Board, NSDB, 1963-1970, and Chairman of the National Research Council of the Philippines, 1961-1976. Dr. Alfredo C. Santos, a true master of Philippine medicinal plants. Born on August 15, 1900, Dr. Alfredo C. Santos was Pinoy pioneer in A. Phytochemistry and plant-based medicine. He studied a wide variety of Philippine medicinal plants, focusing on the alkaloids, naturally occurring organic compounds with basic nitrogen atom. His vast body of work continues to guide today's researchers, students, and medical professionals in studying local medicinal plants. Eduardo Quisimbing born November 24, 1895, died August 23, 1986. Quisimbing was a Filipino botanist and a noted expert in the medicinal plants of the Philippines. He was an author of more than 129 scientific scientific articles, many on orchids. Quisimbing served as the director of the National Museum of the Philippines, where he oversaw the rebuilding of the herbarium, which was completely destroyed during World War II. The Ocampo, Geminano T. Birthdate, the 16th of September 1907 died the 2nd of September 1987. Modern Philippine Ophthalmology, Dr. Da. The leader and pioneer in Ocampo introduced corneal transplantation in the Philippines and designed corneal dissector which was manufactured by Stores and Company, USA. Dr. De Ocampo also conceived and helped establish the Philippine Eye Bank, 1950, established the De Ocampo Eye Hospital, the first eye hospital in the country, 1952, and founder and first president, Philippine Ophthalmological Society, 1958. Casimiro V. Del Rosario, June 13, 1896, September 15, 1982, is a foremost Filipino physicist, meteorologist, and astronomer. Dr. Del Rosario is known for his researches on ultraviolet light of different wavelengths, effect of O radioactive radiation on Euglena, high voltage electrical discharges in a vacuum, and many others. His works have been published in international journals such as the American Physics Review and the Journal of Franklin Institute. He is the co-founder of the Bartle Research Foundation in Philadelphia, an institution which did pioneering researches in physics. Dr. Del Rosario was the recipient of a presidential award in 1965 for his contributions to physics. He was made director of the Philippine Weather Bureau for 11 years and the first vice chairman of the National Science Development Board in 1958. He was conferred as a national scientist in 1984. On September 2, 1901, Gregorio Tiongson Velasquez, botanist and known as father of Philippine Phycology, was born in Columpet, Bulacan. Velasquez, who was conferred the National Scientist in Tropical Phycology Award by President Ferdinand Marcos in 1982, pioneered research in phycology or the study of algae in the country. For many years, he was chairman for Biological Sciences of the National Research Council of the Philippines. Velasquez Street at the campus of the University of the Philippines in Diliman, Quezon City, was named in honor of the Velasquez couple who resided in one of the older houses located on the same street. Dr. Francisco M. Fronda, 
December 22, 1896 minus 0 February 17, 1986, is recognized as the father of poultry science in the Philippines for his immense contribution to the poultry and livestock industry. Dr. Fronda worked extensively on the Cantonese, a breed of chicken imported from Canton, China. For 15 years, he culled, selected, and bred the Cantonese to improve the said breed. He succeeded in developing the chickens, but the line was not continued since all the fowls were consumed due to famine during World War II. Birth Anniversary of Francisco O. Santos National Scientist Dr. Francisco Santos was elected as academician in 1980 and conferred as O. National Scientist in 1983. He was known because of his concern on the development of nourishment of the Filipinos. He made complete researches on the nutritive values and chemical content of Filipino foods, quantity of nutrients and vitamin of O conventional Philippine food resources and Philippine nutrition harms. Velasquez's Contributions Doctor 2 New Species in 2. Science Include 30 one new genus of digenetic trematodes from philippine food fishes two from birds and five from mammals nine life cycles of trematodes of the family transversotramatidae notocotylidae peeper echinostromatidae notocotylidae two plagiorchidae heterophyidae two microphyllidae and philophthalmidae. In addition, two new species of nematodes from Philippine fishes and a new species of capillaria from the intestine of man. Also, a new species of parasitic copod in Glossogobius juris gobi. Most of these works are published in international journals and cited in a number of journals abroad. Teodoro Andola Goncholo, November 9, 1912, January 14, 1985. He was also an essayist and a poet. He was named National Scientist of the Philippines in 1985 for his distinguished contributions in the field of history. Agoncillo was also among the few academics who held the rank of university professor, an academic rank given to outstanding faculty members with specialization in more than one of the traditional academic domains, science and technology. Pioneer of modern public health in the Philippines. Flip Science. Hilario D. G. Lara. Born on January 15, 1894, National Scientist Dr. Hilario D. G. Lara was a trailblazer in the public health movement in the Philippines. Dr. Lara devoted years of research to preventing the spread of cholera, typhoid fever, dysentery, measles, and diphtheria in the country. He also helped establish some of the Philippines' most important public health institutions and became a leading public health educator. In memoriam Luz Oliveros Bilardo November 3, 1906 December 12, 1999, National Scientist. Luz Bilardo did extensive research on phytochemical properties of plants in the Philippines for essential oils and herbal medication. Specifically, she was able to extract at least 33 essential oils such as Simbapogon citratus otherwise known as lemongrass oil. In memoriam, Jose Encarnacion Jr. November 17, 1928 July S. 1998 National Scientist Jose Encarnacion is a Filipino social social scientist and economist who received the National Scientist Award in 1987. National Scientist Alfredo V. Lagme, Dr. Lagme has studies relating to experimental analysis of behavior, behavior modification, relaxation and related studies and hypnosis, all of which are considered great contributions to the development of psychology here in the Philippines. He is also the founding father of the Psychology Association of the Philippines PAP. Paolo C. Campos, July 27, 1921 to June 2, 2007.
Campos was a Filipino physician and educator noted for his promotion of wider community health care and his achievements in the field of nuclear medicine for which he was dubbed as the father of nuclear medicine in the Philippines. The first president of the National Academy of Science and Technology, he was conferred the rank and title of National Scientist of the Philippines in 1980. Pedro B. Escuro is a Filipino scientist who is considered as the father of Philippine rice breeding program. Contribution to science. Asterisk produced improved rice varieties such as C4 to 63, C4 to 137, C4 to 113, C168, C22, UP. Clara Y. Lim Silianco is a Filipino chemist who was granted the title of National Scientist of the Philippines in 1994. Lim Silianco's research focused on mutagens, anti-mutagens, and bioorganic mechanisms. She has published articles, books, and monographs in organic chemistry, biochemistry, genetic toxicology, and molecular nutrition. Also an educator, Lim Silianco has written books that are used as reference texts in college chemistry courses in the Dolores A. Ramirez. Dr. Ramirez is recognized for her researches in biochemical genetics and cytogenetics. She has been working on the genetic systems controlling the Makapuno endosperm of coconut, the genetics of chemical resistance factors against Cercospora leaf spot. Jose R. Velasco was a Filipino plant physiologist and agricultural chemist noted for his research on soil and plant nutrition and on coconut diseases. In 1998, he was recognized as a national scientist of the Philippines. Dr. Delia T. Castillo devoted her early years the academe as director of McKeeling School, head of the Social Research Division of the University of the Philippines, Los Baños Department of Agricultural Education, and chair of the UP Los Baños Social Science. In memoriam, Gelia T. Castillo, March 3, 1928 to August 5, 2017, National Scientist. Dr. Castillo pioneered studies on Filipino farmers' technological adaptation, rural problems and rural-urban inequalities, link between social science research and action, and the role of Filipino women, decades before these themes. In memoriam National Scientist Bienvenido O. Giuliano. Bienvenido O. Giuliano, born August 15, 1936, is a national scientist who focused on the properties of starch and protein in relation to rice grain quality. See he is one of the 1964 TOYM. The Outstanding Young Men and Women, Awardees for Science. Dr. Claire Baltazar is recognized for her contributions on the research on Philippine insects. Her discovery of the Philippine endemic Hymenoptera species is important for biological insect control applications. Dr. Baltazar published a book on Philippine insects as the first reliable book on Philippine insects. Discoveries of 8 in 1 subgenus of Hymenoptera and 108 new species of the Philippine parasitic wasps are Dr. Baltazar other important contributions to science. Dr. Baltazar is well-renowned here and out of the country. She accepted the Rizal Pro Patria Award in Entomology in 9. Dr. Benito S. Vergara was a scientist in the plant sciences and was conferred the rank and title of National Scientist of the Philippines in 2001, the highest honor bestowed by the Philippine government for the work of Filipino scientists. Vergara was also behind the development of the Rice Museum and Learning Center and is known for his extensive plant catalogs in rice and ornamental plant varieties, as well as his work starting the farmer's primer on growing rice. Dr. Anofre D. Corpus, born on December 1, 1926 to March 23, 2013, was a Filipino scientist noted for his contributions to the fields of political science and Philippine social and economic history. Dr. Ricardo Landikin is recognized for his contributions to plant breeding. 
His research shows the importance of genetic diversity as a weapon against environmental adversities, finds applications in Philippine agriculture in the science and practice of crop production, and cytoplasm research. He studied the cytoplasmic inheritance of susceptibility and cytoplasmic control of susceptibility, among others, on corn. Research C permits basic studies in bio. Lords J. Cruz, born May 19, 1942, is a Filipino biochemist whose research has contributed to the understanding of the biochemistry of toxic peptides from the venom of fish hunting conus marine snails. Throughout the Philippines, she is known as specialist. The sea snail venom, F12, size RQ, national scientist Tapasio is an authoritative figure in veterinary medicine particularly in animal production and health in the country. Noteworthy of his unique contributions to information is in the area of leptospiral disease of domesticated animals, which provided the foundation for the institutional control measure. Dr. Mercedes B. Concepcion is a recognized pioneer in three social science disciplines, sociology, demography, and statistics. Her body of work as an academic, scholar and as an institution builder has earned her the title of National Scientist, the highest distinction bestowed to Filipino scientists by the Philippine government. In 2005, the United Nations also conferred on Dr. Concepcion the UN population. Ernesto O. Domingo, born June 28, 1930, is a national scientist of the Philippines and professor emeritus at the University of the Philippines College of Medicine at UP Manila. Dr. Domingo is a specialist in hepatology and gastroenterology. He organized the UPM Liver Study Group and undertook important investigations of viral hepatitis and liver disease, establishing a causal link between chronic hepatitis B and liver cancer. His study has saved millions of individuals from life-threatening illness and decreased health care expenses. Perla Santos Ocampo was born on July 25, 1931. Her work in diarrheal diseases provides a lot in the elucidation of etiologic factors and arrangement of control measures that reinforced worldwide commendations in oral rehydration and nutritional administration. Dr. Raul Fabella is recognized for his pioneering works on novel analytic constructs that are useful in economic problems. His research finds applications on areas such as market power, contractarian approach in governance, welfare and political economy dimensions of private versus public enterprise, Philippine productivity and global competitiveness, currency crisis, trade and modernization. Bienvenido F. Nebris, SJ is a scientist, mathematician, and Jesuit who served as president of the Ateneo de Manila University. Currently, he is a member of the boards of trustees of Georgetown University, Ateneo de Iloilo, Synergia Foundation. He is chairman of the Center for Leadership and Change. He was also Provincial Superior of the Society of Jesus in the Philippines. He is a member of the Board of Dr. Angel Alcala was recognized for his contributions in building sanctuaries and promoting biodiversity in the aquatic ecosystems in the Philippines. His biological contributions to the environment, his passion for marine life especially those in the tropical waters of his country's ecosystems have made him a renowned hero for natural sciences in the Philippines. He spent over 30 years studying marine biology, conservation biology, terrestrial ecology and is behind the invention of artificial coral reefs for fisheries in South Dr. Ramon C. Barba is recognized for his significant contributions to Philippine agriculture through horticulture. He developed a process that caused the flowering and fruiting of mango trees three times a year, instead on once a year, so dramatically improving yields. His work found applications in advancing the mango export industry. His research on tissue culture of many horticultural crops, bananas, cassava, and sugarcane among others, enabled the development of methodologies in physiology and plant breeding. In 2013, Rodimishan Gavino C. Trono Jr. 
is national scientist renowned for his outstanding contributions in the field of tropical marine phycology with focus on seaweed biodiversity, biology, ecology, and culture, ACD. Dr. Edgardo Gomez is recognized for his contributions in marine ecosystems, coral reef ecology and conservation, re-establishment of giant clam stocks, and marine science capability enhancement. Dr. Gomez served as the founding director of the Marine Science Institute, MSI, at the University of the Philippines, was also known for his contribution to the baseline mapping of the Philippines in relation to the West Philippine Sea, and also the groundwork for the UPSystems Archipelagic Studies Program. He was among the scientists who sounded the alarm on the environmental impact of China's reclamation activities in the West Philippine Sea that harm coral reefs, the area's rich biodiversity, as well as the food security of those dependent on it like the Philippines. In memoriam, Encarnacion Alzona, March 23, 1895 to March 13, 2001, National Scientist. Alzona was a reputed historian and guru to a generation of other famous historians and at the same time as University of the Philippines professor in history. She acknowledged the loan prize awarded by the Congress de Hispanitas de Filipinas in 1954 for her El Legado de España Filipina. Sources https colon slash slash fliftmel 5com slash ofbzw slash gvbc https colon slash slash www.hws.edu https colon slash slash www.thotco.com https colon slash slash mb.com dot ph https colon slash slash members dot nas dot ph slash index dot php slash list dash of national scientist details three thirty firsts https colon slash slash www.flipscience.ph slash http colon slash slash spheres dot dust dot gov dot pa thank you